Welcome back guys to another episode of Hacks and Hunt. Today's video, we are gonna be comparing the Hoyt RX-5 against the Hoyt RX-5. The Ultra up against the regular 30 inch. So we got 30 inch axle axle up against a 34 inch axle axle. Um, so it's quite a bit larger on that Ultra. Um, the only difference of these two bows is this is at 30 inch draw 70 pounds this is 30 and a half inch draw at 70 pounds. So we're gonna go off of the way the bow feels and not necessarily a speed test um, and just kind of decide which one I'd rather go home with, string angles, um, the way it draws and everything just to see which one shoots better in my hands. So anyway, if you want to see which bow performs a little bit better, then go ahead and stay tuned. All right, so first up to bat is gonna be that Ultra at 34 inch axle axle. Quite a good large bow, set up at 30 and a half inch draw, so it's quite a bit too long for me, about an inch too long. All right, so we are gonna pull this thing back, feel that draw cycle, check out that string angle. Again, 70 pounds, 30 and a half, wow, really smooth, smooth draw on that. And string angle is freaking money. Okay, that thing shoots a little bit brutal. Has a, quite a decent jump forward on that, but let's do that again. Very smooth draw. Sponge in the back wall. Again, this is at 30 and a half inch draw. 70 pound limbs. Yeah, there's decent jump forward on that. Um, I did just shoot the regular and I feel like this one has more, but we'll shoot it again just to, just to verify. I didn't think it just shot a fletching off on that one. Um, feels, I think with these lighter arrows, yeah, that's three, 340 spine arrows, so that's a little weak and it's gonna be a little light. Let's feel this one. Yeah, that, that one, it's got a lot of jump forward, but the uh, last one before that was an FMJ. I think that was a 300 spine FMJ. Um, so a little bit stiffer, a little bit heavier. Um, see if I can get this camera to focus, guys. I'm so sorry that this lens, it does not like me. Change the aperture and everything. Let's change it again, because it's kind of annoying for it to like blur the background, or blur me and focus the background. Um, anyway, so that thing shoots really nice with a little bit of a heavier arrow, obviously at a 30 and a half inch draw, you're gonna be shooting a heavy arrow, um, or you should be at least. Um, overall, I, I, I feel like that draw cycle is super duper smooth, feels good, um, that string angle, it's, I mean, it's super wide. It's, it's a long axle, 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 it's a long, long axle to axle bow. Um, being at 34 inches so I just feel like you are able to just kind of settle in with your face not having to tilt down to touch that with your nose uh, I just feel like it's kind of just in that nice natural position um, of just where that string touches to, to anchor um, anyway let's shoot that RX-5 30 inch axle axle real quick see kind of how it compares to this with those same arrows kind of see how that feels with a lighter and heavy arrow as well set up at 70 pounds 30 inch so just a half an inch shorter of a, of a draw length um, and then we'll kind of discuss which one that feels a little bit better all right time for that RX-5 30 inch axle axle you kind of feel the weight of that stabilizer up front just a little bit. Um, overall, pretty decent balance for for this bow. Um, it does feel just a little bit lighter being it is a little bit of a shorter axle axle bow. Um, I do like the uh, this buckskin finish a little bit more than that green. 
I just feel like it's a little less shiny. It's gonna glare maybe a little bit less. I'm gonna change my ISO on here now, guys. This lighting's just not the best. We'll add a little fake light for you. All right, sorry. All right, let's do the uh, draw. Again, this one's the 30 inch draw. So half an inch shorter. The Ultra for sure has a smoother draw, I would say. And the string angle, I'm, let's see. I'm about right here with that Ultra and then tilt down. So half an inch of a tilt of my head. And that was that heavier FMJ. Um, felt really solid. Here's the lighter 340 spine um, gold tip. Let's see how that fails. See if that adds a little bit more of a hand shock and jump forward. For sure, that is definitely going to be. It's just. It's probably a 300. And 20, maybe 310 grain arrow. There's nothing on it. And then this one's probably around that 350 mark. Sorry, these are, all these arrows are kind of different. No, that one's lighter. That one was freaking light. Had a lot of jump forward. Here's another light 340 gold tip. Oh, so overall, I mean, the bow feels good. That draw is just a little bit more aggressive. Yeah, the draws are just a little bit more aggressive. Stringing was a little less on there. That Ultra is... Shooting wise, the Ultra is gonna take it. Who knows on speed, it's probably a little bit slower. I'm, I'm sure this is gonna be a little bit slower, but I, I don't have a, a, the chance to be able to put this in a 30 inch draw. Um, minimum I can get today is 30 and a half. The max on this is 30, so half inch difference. Not gonna really throw it through the chrono um, just because it's not gonna be apples to apples, but uh, both these bows are shooting super good. Um, clearly, if you have a little bit of a shorter draw, the RX-5 30 is gonna be a killer bow. But if you have a longer draw, up to 32, yeah, 32, that Ultra is gonna, gonna be killer. Even, even at 29, 30 inch, that, that is a super smooth shooting bow. Um, as well, I just wanna hurry and let you guys know on here, just a reminder, um, my new giveaway is open. Um, we are gonna be giving away a bow to you, and I'm gonna give you a second bow to be able to give away to a veteran or a first responder buddy that you know you have, somebody that, a friend um, that has served in any way, shape, or form. Um, get them a bow, get them started, so that way you guys can go out and shoot, and then um, also going to donate $5,000 to Wishes for Warriors to help get some veterans and first responder people out in the outdoors. Um, people that you know have been injured and don't really have the means to be able to get out and hunt. Um, we're gonna donate 5,000 bucks, including two bows, one for you, and then one for you to give away to a friend um, that is a veteran. So what uh, the way you get entered in is go to hacksandhunt.com, and then on there I have flags right here. I'll show you flag, flag. Um, you, you get both flags, the white one and the black one. Um, and it's just got the, you know, the stripes, back to blue, back to firefighters, and back to veterans. I mean, military so we're just going to show our support um, to, to everybody that has served and is serving i just want to say thank you to all of you guys out there that have served and are currently serving i have a huge following um, of police officers firefighters and military i have had people reach out to me on instagram saying that they are deployed right now and um, appreciate the videos and everything so i just want to say i appreciate you and we're going to give back to you give a bow for you and give a bow for a buddy so anyway guys Thank you once again. Thanks to Terry here at TNT Archery for letting me come on in, shoot the bows, compare them, so that way I can get the info out to you guys. That's gonna be it for today, guys. We will see, oh wait, yeah, no, I picked this bow. I picked the other. We'll see you guys next time.